show. This is a uh, this is a good one. It's a good show. It's a short one. It's usually 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes, and we're good. 15 20 minutes, and we're good. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming by the show today. If this is your first time and you're wondering why is there a big old purple blue thing at the top of my trending page? You, you, right now, why is there a purple thing, uh, a blue thing up at the top of trending? I can tell you the reason that it's there is because weekly we come on here and we talk about updates. We talk about the cool things that are happening on the platform, who's getting their top badge, who won some contests, what things are going on, and today is no different because it is Friday, so cannot cannot wait to talk with you all about this. I do not know if we're doing a rundown next Friday. I have to get the confirmed. Uh, I could come on and say hi. I don't know that we would have a top badge next week, okay? So I'm just gonna like throw that out there. So that if we were to do it, well, anyone like Chris, you tricked us, okay? All right, but there is there is a top badge today. There is a top badge today. So make sure you stay tuned because you're gonna get that, that top badge announcement. But let's go ahead and pop into some, uh, some other things real quick, all right? Wait, did I update the photo? I don't think I updated the photo. Hold on. Yeah, I did. Hold on. Did the photo not update? All right, whatever. It can be. It can be top streamer official day. Top streamer official today. The rundown. Whichever. It says top streamer official. Yeah. FYI, everyone. This is uh, not an account to help with login issues. In fact, let's read that bio real quick. Where's the bio? Can I read my own bio? Let me. Let me go in there and read the bio. This is the official terminology, right? So what is what is the official terminology? Okay. Come on. Load. All right. Notice. Notice. This says notice. It's big, big, bold letters. Notice. This account is not a customer care channel. If you are experiencing issues with your Meet Me Scout Plenty of Fish account, we encourage you to contact our trust and safety uh, team for support. And that can be at, be at support at meetme.com, support at scout.com, or csr at pop.com. So if all those emails and things you say, you don't answer the DM, that's where you need to message. That's where you need to message, okay? All right, so thanks for coming by, everyone. Congratulations to the new shows that debuted this week. There were two, two of them, right? Yeah, there were two. There were two new shows this week. Shout out to them. First one's The Reveal with Zen. The Reveal with Zen. That's Monday is at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 p.m. Standard Time. People come on. They perform in costumes. They wear masks and all sorts of get-ups. And then they take them off at the end of the show to reveal who they are. And there's two winners every show. One for best vocal performance. One for best costume. Make sure you check that out. Mondays at 8. And what is the other new show? The other new show, I need to make sure I say the time right this time, because last time I goofed it up. There's another new show. It's called Ren Presents Stumps. It's Ren Higgs. Ren Higgs. That's every month or Tuesday. Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a trivia show. She brings you four multiple choice questions per round, uh, per question, five questions per round, going from easy to medium to hard. So if you like trivia, if you like games, make sure that you tune in uh, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Ren Higgs. You can go and check that out. There are lots of shows there. In fact, 22 of them right now. There are 22 official promoted shows uh, on Meet Me Scout, Plenty of Fish. So lots of entertainment, lots of things to watch. If you want to go and check that out, make sure that you look at the top banner. We'll keep you updated. In fact, Holly's got a show tomorrow on Saturday. Saturdays, I don't know that I've talked about Holly's before. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Holly. She's got that theme stream going on. Cool. All right, per usual, quick, quick overview of top badge requirements. One of the most common questions we get. So I'm going to plug it here. First, how do I apply for top badge? How do I apply for my top badge? Who's that annoying guy talking? That's me. That's me on my phone. I can hear myself. I can hear myself talking. Uh, go to the top banner. Go to the top banner, and you're going to find a thing that says Live Central or Streamer Central. Click into that, and it shows you how to apply for a top badge. But before you do that, there's a couple things you need to do. First things first is have a readable name that has standard characters in it. If you use 
a special keyboard to put the font in your name. If you have to go to Google or whichever and go to one of those font translators where they shift the letters to make them cool, don't. Just don't. 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 Just don't. Why don't, why don't you do it, right? Why, why shouldn't I do that? Because on the back end, the people who are searching for you, who want to see your performance and things like that, it makes it, we can't find you. Your characters aren't recognized. And for people who are trying to search you, if you just someone says, hey, I want to search up my friend Jim Bob, but Jim Bob's got a Honda Civic with a dragon tattoo over a goat with a watermelon throughout his name. We can't, you can't find it. Jim Bob, you're goofing. Don't do that, Jim Bob. Don't put rainbows and cars and things throughout it. If you have a family tag in your name, put your family tag after your name. If you put, if you put the family tag before your name, that comes in first in the search result, okay? So put the family tag after your name and refrain from using those unique characters. Yes, you want to stand out, but don't make yourself not searchable. You're, you're doing the exact opposite of what you want. I get on my pedestal every week about that. It's not something you want to be part of. Use standard characters, everybody. Promise you. Stand out with your personality. Stand up with your awesome comments, all right? Rest of the things, you already know the drill. Five million diamonds, 5,000 favorites, 40 hours of streaming a month, 40 hours of streaming a month, average uh, viewership of 500 people per stream, and engaging in appropriate content. So we're refraining from using uh, profanity or vulgarities in our name, in our bio. We're staying away from that kind of stuff, and having uh, streams that we stay in live. So tip of the week, tip of the week, we do a tip of the week every week. This week's tip is staying in frame. Staying in frame. It's one of the easiest things that you can do to keep people in your stream longer. Is we, we've been there. We've been in that stream before. We clicked in and it was an eyebrow. Or maybe it was it was the up the nostril shot. Or it was just a really it's just in frame. Being in frame is one of the easiest things that you can do to retain viewers. These people want to know who they're talking to. And as a streamer, you've got to uphold your end of the deal. You're here to broadcast. They're there to view. So don't put the burden of mystery all on the viewer. Okay? Stay in frame. Stay in frame. That's your tip of the week. It's a simple one. It's, it's the easiest one on checklist to do. Just be in the frame. Be Show up. All right. There you go. Uh, what else do we have going on? Contests. Let's talk about contests, everybody. We've got new contests. This... Oh. New contest. We've got the stream with friends contest from a distance. They they put that it's in this in invisible ink, at least six feet apart. Stream with your friends. That's what you gotta do. Stream with your friends at least six feet apart. But it's split up into two. It's split up into two for the stream with friends contest. Um, it's paying out to the top. Better double check because last time I did this. Paying out to the top sixty two. Top sixty four. Math. Do you know I took pre-algebra four times? 64. <laughs> Pay it out to the top 64. If you, you too, failed math class, you too can someday talk to people about winning diamonds. All right. Pay it out to the top 64, broken up into top female and male broadcasters. That means, hang on, let's math it. Top 32 of each sex will place. Last week, there was another contest. It was the Diamond Dash contest. The Diamond Dash contest was last week. Actually, let me double check. It was the Positive Vibes. Positive Vibes? Positive Vibes was last weekend. Nah, Diamond Dash was the week before. I almost announced the same contest over. Somebody should have yelled at me in the comments. Get on it. If you're going to troll someone, troll me, all right? Tell me, Chris, you're not announcing the right dates for the contest. Let's announce the top 15, so the top 25% of the contest, okay? Coming in in 15th place was Holly. Coming in in 15th place was Holly. Coming in 14th place was Marty Party. A lot to celebrate. In 13th place was Bud Lightning. Bud Lightning. 12th place for your positive vibes. Everybody's feeling positive when they place, right? 
Coming in in uh, thir 12th place was Trinzy. Trinzy. Countdown is real until I screw one of these names up. And coming in 11th place was Daddy J. Daddy J. Top 10 for your Positive Vibes contest. Coming in in 10th place was Simone. 8th place, Mr. Ray Khan. R&B Ray J himself. 8th place. 7th place was Missy. Sixth place, Sam Pashandi. Fifth place, top five for your Positive Vibes Weekend Contest uh, was George. George with 3 million, 3.8 million diamonds. 3.863, I need to be specific. Because in fourth place was... Oh, why do you got to do this to me? It's Is it Shalado? shalado -y? It's the unique... It's an S and an H and an L... And then a, a, a black dot and a D-Y. Is it Shalado I? All right, congratulations to them. They fixed the characters. All right, your top three. Your top three for the Positive Vibe Weekends Contest. Top three for your Positive Vibes Weekend Contest. In third place, with 5,049,000 diamonds, was Zuri. Congratulations, Zuri. In second place for the Positive Vibes Contest, with 5,000,000 49,000 diamonds was, I'm sorry, 5,108,000 diamonds was Bobby Yaga. Bobby Yaga. Congratulations, yeah, Bobby Yaga. And in first place, with 6,192,000 diamonds was Valhalla187. Interesting note, the top four were all black badge VIPs. VIPs are coming for the throne. They're going for the throne. They said the contest, curtains. We got them. All right. We see you, VIPs. We see you. All right. Here we go. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. Congratulations last week to Blake Premier on his top badge. Now, this week's top badge announcement, there's one. We, did, we do have one top badge to announce today. And she might be here. She might be here. I'm gonna double check and see if she's here or not, <laughs> um, because I we it's a it's a surprise. You never know when you're getting it. But we tell everyone to make sure that you show the rundown. Show up to the rundown because uh, you, you we gotta make you gotta make sure that that they're there. Okay. Um, I don't have a pun, but. If I had to think of one, it would ex it include an exclamation mark because this person has got an exclamation mark in their name because this is an exciting moment. She's a longtime old friend of the platform, Justine. Justine, congratulations. You're this week's top badge announcement. And if you're here, please request the box. Justine, please request the box. Many of you OGs on the app know her. She has been around for a long minute. A long, long time. Justine, if you are here, please request the box. Please? Someone message her. Someone, hey, FYI, I don't know if you're eating some cereal right now. But put down the cornflakes because something just happened. And I think you'll want to hear about it. Maybe. I don't know. Potentially. She might be asleep. It's noon. Where she is, I think. And that's basically the morning time. You know how it is. Nah. Justin, congratulations on your top badge. Uh, that is the top badge announcement for this week. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll have to catch her next week. I'll have to message her and say, hey, I know that you probably wanted a heads up specifically. Um, but we've had a good run. We've had a good run of people being here for the announcement. So I should have had like a running little days without incident. You know, it could have been like rundowns without incident where the person's not here. So now we got to set We got to reset it. I'm going to reset it and be at one. All right. So thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. My name's Chris. Yeah, uh, she, she's coming back. Oh, she set us back. I thought you said she's coming back. No, she didn't. It's not really her fault. I mean, you know, the fact that she wouldn't come here is hurtful, but whatever. She's probably got something important to do right now. Like, um, 
I don't know. Plant trees and sleep. Planting trees is a nice thing to do. Who wants to plant a tree? All right. Everyone, if we do the rundown next week, I'll be doing it from a different location. I'll be doing it from Florida. I'll be in Florida next week. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming by this week. My name is Chris Casper. I um, hope that you have a safe weekend. Please enjoy it. Stay respectful of one another. Keep tabs on that leaderboard because there is the new uh, Stream with Friends contest up. You have your shot based on uh, on placement and earn some real diamonds. So we'll see you all next time. Much love. Take care. Have a good night. It's not nighttime. Ah, so close.